a huge moment for India. Its Supreme Court has ruled that gay sex is not a crime. Have a look at this uh, tweet from... I was just going to show you a tweet, but uh, from Karen Johar, an Indian film director who has uh, really, I think, expressed the sentiments of many when they say, look, this is a historical judgment. So proud today. Uh, a huge thumbs up for humanity and for human rights. And this was the moment that some campaigners found out. You can see the message getting through and you can see what it means too. Many of these people have been fighting this law for years and in fact the law dates back over 150 years to the colonial era which categorized gay sex as an unnatural offense. Well, not anymore. From now on in India to discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation is seen as a fundamental violation of civil rights. Let's hear from some of the campaigners outside the court. I haven't come out to my parents, so I'm going to do that <laughs> tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, this was uh, that like a huge turn of events. Me. I didn't really expect, you know, like the whole... <laughs> I just came here to listen to the uh, whatever uh, the, the verdict was, and now I'm out. <laughs> I'm super, super elated. I'm really happy to hear this judgment and because it's been a legal battle which has been going on for close to three decades. And I'm finally glad that I can say that I'm not a criminal in this country anymore. Now, here are some of the countries where same-sex marriage, uh, sorry, same-sex relationships are still illegal. Uh, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Sudan, Iran, Iraq. There are other countries as well which we couldn't uh, mark on one map. Those founding... Uh, engaging in same-sex relationships in these countries can face the death penalty. In others, which we've marked here, and this is not a comprehensive list, homosexuality is punished with jail terms. And in many cases, these punishments are connected to laws that date back to British rule.